Hello everybody, thank you for turning up. I really hope you've had a great week. Now today I want to play one of my favourite light gun games and it's quite an old one, even compared to many of the other games that I've played here on this channel. Missile Defense 3D was released for the Sega Master System back in 1987 and as far as I'm aware it wasn't released in Japan. It was only available in Europe and the Americas. It's quite a special game as it's one of about only eight games that made use of the system's 3D glasses. And in fact, this was one of the few that didn't actually have a 2D mode, so absolutely required the 3D glasses to play. And it's the only 3D game that also used the light phaser, which was the Master System's light gun peripheral, in conjunction with the 3D glasses. And like all light gun games of its time, it's very simple. I can't describe it any better than the description that I find for it on the Sega Retro website, which goes like this. The player assumes the role of an anti-nuclear satellite armed with a laser, with the mission of destroying all nuclear missiles launched by two superpowers at each other and the satellite. The missiles appear to fly towards the viewer with the illusion of depth created by the 3D glasses, which must be shot with the light phaser before they hit their target. Missile Defense 3D was notorious for its anti-nuclear war theming, which hit close to home for many, as this game was made during the Cold War. So, as you've just heard, the player is the operator of a defense satellite, armed with multiple lasers used to destroy the missiles. The number of lasers is only used to represent what would normally be referred to as lives. You start off with three lasers, and with each successful clearing of a wave of missiles, you gain an additional laser. Missiles fly out of the silos in apparently random directions, and you have to shoot down as many as you can before they fly off screen. You get three chances to destroy the whole wave, the first being the moment of launch. Any remaining missiles are carried over to the second location, which is either over the North Pole or in space, and you get another chance to shoot them down. If you fail to shoot them all at this stage, then your last chance is to get them at their destination before they hit their target. If you fail to get them all by now, then it's game over. No more chances. And as it says on the game over screen, that's all it takes. If you clear a wave before any missiles reach the target destination, then you get bonus points. Some missiles fly directly at you, and I can only imagine how that looks with the 3D glasses on but these are the ones that can take out your lasers. If you get these before they reach you, then you lose a laser. And when all your lasers are depleted, then it's game over. So there you have it. It's quite a simple game, not a lot of variety in terms of on-screen locations, as the game focuses on two opposing sides firing missiles at each other. And there are three screens for each of the two sides. And play goes back and forth between the two sides until you're able to destroy the entire arsenal of missiles. With each wave, the missiles become more numerous and faster and harder to hit. And to date, I haven't managed to successfully complete the game. But I know that there is an ending, as I've seen a screen that says that I'm 50% of the way there. So I guess I just need to keep practicing. I'm playing this game today on an emulator on a Raspberry Pi using the Sindon light gun. I'm not using real hardware on this occasion because, well, first of all, I don't have the 3D glasses for the Master System. That's a peripheral that I one day hope to acquire, but I don't have them just yet. Secondly, even if I did have the 3D glasses, I'm not sure how well I'd be able to record the footage. So conveniently, the emulator I'm using is able to show only one field of view, which makes it easy to play and record this game for normal 2D screens. Okay, that's enough talk. I'm going to play this game now and let you see what it's like. I hope you enjoy this.